Good morning, everyone. I'm going to make just a brief statement. Uh, then the Democratic leader will make a brief statement, and I'm not going to take any questions. Nor am I. At 9 o'clock this morning, my staff and I reviewed the FBI's report into sexual assault allegations against Brett Kavanaugh. Let me be clear. I can't talk about the detail because this remains a confidential part of the background report. I hope that uh, changes uh, are made and we'll be able to talk more about what the FBI did later. But what I can say is that the most notable part of this report is what's not in it. As we noted by the White House, the FBI did not interview Brett Kavanaugh, nor did the FBI interview Dr. Blasey Ford. What we've heard from numerous people over the last few days seeking to provide information to the FBI. We have seen even more press reports of witnesses who wanted to speak with the FBI but were not interviewed. Deborah Ramirez's lawyer said he was unaware of any corroborating witnesses who were interviewed. Candidly, what we reviewed today in a very limited time uh, I was there, I had to leave, uh, the report is in parts, and I had the opportunity to read some, but not all of it. it. It looks to be a product of an incomplete investigation that was limited, uh, perhaps by the White House, I don't know. But the White House certainly blocked access to millions of documents from Judge Kavanaugh's record, I know that and ensured that 90% of his emails and memos weren't available for the Senate or the public in the hearings. It now appears that they also blocked the FBI from doing its job. Democrats agreed that the investigation scope should be limited. We did not agree that the White House should tie the FBI's hands. It's simply not credible to say that public testimony in last week's hearing is a substitute for interviews by FBI agents. Not only do senators lack the expertise of FBI agents, we were only given five minutes to question Judge Kavanaugh. So in my view, from what I saw, the investigation was very limited and it will be interesting after all of the members have an opportunity uh, to read the documents, um, and we have an opportunity in public to discuss our conclusions, uh, what the findings are. Thank you, Senator Feinstein. I just have three points to make. One, we had many fears that this was a very limited process that would constrain the FBI from getting all the facts. Having received a thorough briefing on the documents, those fears have been realized. Second, I disagree. Having received this, the, a briefing on all of the documents, I disagree with Senator Grassley's statement that there was no hint of misconduct. And third, we are reiterating our call, given how limited this, these documents were, and how limited the scope of this investigation was. We are reiterating our call that the documents with proper redaction be made public. Why shouldn't all of America see the facts? And second, we are reiterating our call to make the directive that the White House and Council McGahn sent to the FBI public because we believe it greatly constrained the investigation from the get-go. The fact that there's only one document in there for 100 senators is another example of constraining the ability of all senators and the American public to see the whole truth and nothing but. Thank you. Senator, what do you mean that you disagree with Senator Grassley's statement that there's no hint of misconduct, Senator?
What's the difference? I sold Marissa on letting me shoot on this guy a little bit.